Karen Jeffrey Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this lecture we are going to discuss BCD codes or we also call them as binary coded decimals. So guys, in this video we will discuss how we can create BCD codes, okay, from a decimal number and vice versa and what they are used for. So guys, for the full video all of you stay tuned. So guys, BCD codes they stand for binary coded decimals. So guys, BCD codes are also called as, let me rub this, they are also called as 8421 codes. 8421 codes. And guys, BCD codes, BCD codes are mainly used in seven segment decoders. They are mainly used in seven segment decoders okay what is a seven segment decoder it is a circuit okay which generates a decimal number for a seven segment display now if you have seen our standard calculators okay so they work in a seven segment they display the numbers in seven segments okay if it is one it will turn on this and this on rest everything off okay so and the calculators and one segment can represent the decimal number from 0 to 9. Okay. So, BCD codes are used to encode the decimal numbers. Are used to encode the decimal numbers so that we can easily get their binary equivalent and then it can be used for 7 segment display. Okay. So, guys, soon I will do a video on this. How 7 segment display work okay but in this video we will discuss how we can generate a bcd code from a decimal number and how we can write a decimal number from a bcd code okay so guys now bcd codes as i told you okay so they are also called as 8421 code so bcd code basically it is a four bit it is a 4-bit code which is represented in a binary number or we also call them as 8421 code okay but how does it work how does it work so guys suppose we have a decimal number okay so let us write here so we have a decimal okay so we have a decimal number Okay, so here is 8421 or we call it as BCD code. Okay, so guys, suppose our decimal number is 0. Suppose our decimal number is 0. Now guys, in this 8, 4, 2 and 1, so we have to see which decimal number we need to generate 0. Okay, so 0 is the sum of which decimal number. Okay, so 0 is zero so to create zero do we need one no do we need two no do we need four no do we need eight no so how zero is represented in bcd code it will be zero 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 okay so guys basically what happens whatever decimal number we have okay so we have to see which these numbers as a single number or by adding these numbers we can get that decimal number okay so if for example you will understand it now we want one now guys one is sum of which number so one is sum of one plus we do not need anything to add to it so the number which we need so we will turn it as on and the numbers which we do not need we will turn it as off so 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. So how 1 is represented in BCD? 0, 0, 0, 1. Now let us do 2. It will make it little more clear. So what is 2? 2 is this, right? So already 2 is there. So we do not need anything to add to this 2. So what we get here is 0, 0, 1, 0 okay now then we have decimal number three so what is three do we have three here no we do not have three in eight four 
टू वन सो वट इज थ्री थ्री इज टू प्लस वन सो टू मेक इट थ्री सो वट नंबर वी नीड वी नीड वन वी नीड टू सो मेक दम ऑन ऑन एंड मेक दम ऑफ सो टू प्लस वन थ्री आई होप यू गेट इट सो लेट एस डू फोर सो वट इज फोर फोर इज ऑलरेडी देयर सो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वी वॉन्ट टू मेक फाइव सो फाइव इज नॉट देयर सो विच कंबिनेशन ऑफ नंबर कैन बी यूज टू मेक अ फाइव इट इज फोर प्लस वन सो आउट ऑफ दीज वी नीड फोर एंड वी नीड वन वी डू नॉट नीड टू वी डू नॉट नीड एट ओके देन सिक्स सो वट इज सिक्स सिक्स इज फोर प्लस टू सो वट वी नीड वी नीड फोर वी नीड टू and what we get is 6 now we need 7 what is 7 4 plus 2 plus 1 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 4 plus 2 plus 1 so what is this this will be 7 now we need 8 8 is already there this will become 8 So then we need nine. What is nine? Eight plus one. So one zero zero one. So what is this? These are our decimal numbers. And what are these? These are our B C D codes. And guys, as I told you, B C D codes are used to represent numbers from zero to nine. So zero is zero zero zero. One is zero zero zero. One. This is two. This is three. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so guys, in case we need to represent number ten, so to represent number ten again, we have to as B C D is a four bit code. But if we want to represent number ten again, we need to go again, add more four bits to it. Eight, four, two, one. Okay. So now I want to represent number ten. Okay. So what will be ten? What will be ten? Ten is one and zero. So here will be one zero 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 one. And what will be zero? So what is this? This is one. This is zero. So what we get here is ten. Okay. So in case and for the seven segment display one segment can display only number from 0 to 9 so if you want to go to number 10 you need two segments then from again if you want to go for 100 you need three segments so is the bcd code if we want to represent single digit number we need four bit if we want to represent Double digit number, then we need four 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 bits for one digit, four bits for another digit. For example, eleven. So what is eleven? One and one. So what what will be zero zero one zero zero one one and one gives you eleven. So guys, I hope you understand this. BCD codes are the easiest coding system. Okay. So guys, I hope you. Understand it now quickly. Another thing is, if we have a number written in BCD code, if we have a number written in BCD code, and we want to make a decimal number out of it, suppose the number is zero zero one zero one zero one. How do we do it? So, guys, start from the right. Group the bits in the group of Fours. Okay, so here we grouped four bits. Here one we have only three, so we will add zero to make it four bit. Now for this, get the number of this zero one zero one eight four two one. So one zero one that is four plus one. What we get is five. Then again eight four two one. So zero 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 one. So what we get here is. So guys, I hope you understand me. Okay. So soon I'll be making a video for seven segment decoders. It is very interesting. It is very simple. Okay. So guys, 
If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading it more IT lectures on the different topics like advanced operating system, normal operating system, digital electronics, computer organization, system analysis and design. And guys, all of you, thanks for watching and stay tuned.